that's interesting and I and there go my dogs Stila hi guys I am back with a haul <laughs> why not um it's been a little bit <laughs> and I figured uh, why not come back with some things that I have purchased recently um, I have kept everything in its original packaging so I have been waiting <laughs> to talk to you guys and to show you guys what I bought um, I have been away for a little bit so there is a vlog slash what have I been up to video that's coming out after this but uh, subscribe and put your post notifications on because I promise I really do promise that I will be cranking out some videos um, they, they're already filmed but we got to start someplace with that being said I am going to put in this video what I got for Christmas I did want to put that in this video because I'm going to be using some of those things <laughs> so I didn't want them to just appear out of nowhere um, as per usual, there are going to be timestamps down below. So if you want to see what I got for Christmas or like skip over it, you certainly can. My birthday was not too long ago <laughs> and I got some stuff from Victoria Beckham from my in-laws, specifically my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law. So thank you to Juan and Michelle. <laughs> I got... Some Victoria Beckham goodies they watched my video and got me things based on that video which is just so amazing so they did get <laughs> uh, three of the Kajal liners of course just like the liners in that video <laughs> they are the same as the others nice and weighted so the first color this is called Surfside and we're just gonna do a little bit of this here a really nice not so much navy blue but really like an ocean blue the next color is olive I'm gonna swatch that right here really pretty green and then the last one for a little razzle dazzle they did pick up a gold lame and here we are let's make sure you guys can see it and here we are gold lame so all three are very pretty i think there's one more i think i do want like the true like deep navy and i think that's it then I'm done with all the uh, Victoria Beckham liners. <laughs> so thank you again to them. Sephora. <laughs> I was supposed to do a pickup because there was a Sephora, there was a Sephora near my doctor's office. I'm like, oh, I'll do a pickup really quick. I had like 20 minutes to spare and I ended up picking up more stuff. So from my pickup, I did get finally going to try the one size until dawn mattifying uh waterproof setting spray i've heard so many great things about it i couldn't find my like edge brush so i bought another one from pattern beauty and i haven't opened it yet oh that's so cute look at that it comes with its own little like pouch that is so cute i wonder if like all her brushes it's like a velvet look how big that is that's a huge edge control brush and even the handle oh that's cute so you can like it has a little indent here sorry a little indent so you can like grip it better and like do your edges i'm not good at doing my edges and my baby hair so that is also another reason why I decided to like buy another one once and for all I know and of course because I bought this I'm gonna end up finding my original brush but that's okay I also picked up <laughs> the uh, Delicia drench body butter this is the newest one 
and it's purple so i figured why not i i don't like smelling much of anything in sephora this is a super thick consistency sorry it's kind of bright in here today it smells really good and as you can see i haven't used it at all i've been waiting to show you guys so it is winter my face my body is like really going through it that's really moisturizing that is very moisturizing so i like the smell i still like like I still like the Beja Floor cream <laughs> and scent. I, from smelling this in store, I wasn't sure if I wanted to like get this and the spray and all of that. I already have three sprays. I have the the pink, the yellow, and the old school like teal one they haven't had that in like two three years and i have like this much left i have not i've been holding on to it because i don't think they have that one anymore but at any rate i am happy with this because the bum bum cream is just not enough for me and my winter skin right now <laughs> the next thing i got was the makeup forever uh hd hydro glow foundation I did get the color 4N62 because I have 4N, whoa, that's interesting. Here they are side by side and the Hydro Glow actually just in the bottle looks darker. So that's interesting and I, and there go my dogs. On my palette they seem like the same color but yeah the Hydro Glow is definitely darker yeah they're just a little bit different the original is on top the glow is on the bottom and to be honest I'm not mad at it because I can definitely get away with wearing this in the summer but I can't remember if the original oxidizes so maybe it just works out to be the same I don't know one just looks like a half shade darker that hydro glow to me looks a half shade darker so we'll see like i said i don't think it's so much darker that i would go a shade down because then it'll be too light for me i know it like especially with makeup forever and their shade ranges and also i will post it here they do have a chart that says if you are one shade in the original um hd skin this is your shade in the hydro glow and mine was like a, a complete match so i went with that and lastly i did pick up the laura mercier real flawless concealer i got the shade 5w1 and i can tell you from now i don't like this you will see a video it's actually going to be the next video after this i am testing out this concealer as well as the real flawless foundation in uh five and two cardamom cardamom yeah cardamom which is actually like my favorite joe malone scent so i feel like it was meant to be spoiler alert i love the foundation i'm not a fan of the concealer but i highly suggest subscribing so you can see why <laughs> i am going to pick up one a, a different shade to see if there's any swaying my opinion that was everything from my pickup again when i went in store i did get the laura mercier foundation i also <laughs> decided to get two products from Huda. If you are subscribed to me, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I have gotten rid of all my other color correctors because I absolutely love the Huda Beauty color corrector in papaya. However, when I want to wear light or even like sheer light to medium foundations, papaya is just, this is a very strong corrector. This is a very strong corrector. And I will post the video here of when I used it for the first time. And 
was like, whoa, how do I save this look? But papaya is a very deep color for me. So I say all that to say that I did pick up lychee. I haven't even compared them side by side, so this would be the first time. One is more pink, one's more peach, um, and I definitely want to do a video comparing both. We have lychee here and papaya here. There we go, much better. So we have lychee and we have papaya, and I'm hoping that lychee is a better fit for me for those lighter makeup days it's not as intense it takes a lot of work to blend out papaya and then also i am curious about pink versus peach <laughs> allure ash here on youtube did a video <laughs> with the huda beauty easy bake powder in peach pie and it looked so good on her. I will link her video in my description box. So I have always wanted to try Huda's powders and I, I knew I, I didn't, I don't like very bright under eye concealer situations. I don't. Um, so I never wanted Kunafa. And then the one down from that seemed a little too like ashy for me. So when she tried peach pie, I was like, oh yeah, that's gonna be the one. Finally, I have a shade that I might like. So, oh. oh, that smells so good. I know people don't like scented fragrances. I don't have sensitive skin, so I don't mind. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. So this is what it looks like. Hold on. Okay, so I put it here, but this is like a super heavy like swatch. So as you can see here, not so bad <laughs> it's not as ashy looking but just like a little bit as opposed to like a super crazy swatch but like I said she's pretty much the same foundation shade as me so I'm not really concerned that it's gonna look crazy on me it'll be interesting to see which one works out better for me so I did purchase the Stila eyeliner that I love oh so much could not find it for weeks for weeks and so when i went to sephora i decided to pick up the danessa myricks line work eyeliner and let's do a little swatch that's on the bottom the danessa myricks so i knew i didn't want to spend like another 20 something dollars on a liner and i knew i was going to end up finding it which i did and so i'm glad i took a chance and i figured I only have one eyeliner, so one liquid eyeliner. So obviously when I lost it, I had none. It's good to have two. I always use my Smashbox eyeshadow primer and I just wanted another option. You know, sometimes you wanna put something in your makeup bag and on the go. So I went back to basics and got the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. This is the mini because I forgot like if I liked it or not. I mean, this is years ago where like, the Urban Decay like naked palettes were out and you used to get one with it um, with those palettes it does come with a brush which I love a brush but applicator whatever you want to call it concealer I did like catch a vaps as we say in Trinidad and got the NARS radiant creamy concealer in Amande I used to wear the hell out of this concealer again in the color amande i have it in the soft matte pot and decided to pick up the liquid concealer and i got it in case i didn't like the laura mercier concealer and it's funny because i'm again i'm i'm not like in love with it so i'm glad that i did i don't know why i got this to be honest this is probably the only thing that I'm like mm. because I love the original so much <laughs> I literally have like six or seven of the summer Fridays um lip butters all over like one at my vanity one at my dresser one in my baby bag one in the car one in my purse I love them I love them I love them I did 
decide to pick up the dream lip oil and I got the color rosewood nights it's their darkest color and the reason why I'm like eh, about it is because it's more expensive than the lip oil you act than the lip butter you get more of the lip butter than you do in of the lip oil and you're paying more for the lip oil um and I don't know how I feel about that but that's such a pretty color I forgot who I saw I saw someone here on YouTube put it on and I was like oh I want that too so <laughs> I picked it up again that same day when I was only supposed to have like 30 seconds before my doctor's appointment <laughs> I went to Mac me with losing things I couldn't find my cork lip pencil and guess what I found it the lady even said that too in Mac I told her I was like oh I need another one because I can't find mine and she's like you know you're gonna find it right I'm like I know and guess what I did it was in the same little uh makeup pouch thing <laughs> as my Stila eyeliner I also needed a new because I have been missing this thing so much Mac uh extended play giga lash I use this for my bottom lash line I hate using anything else it's just like the best 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 mascara for your bottom lashes and then I decided to get two of the Mac maximal matte lipsticks here that's the packaging these are a lot heavier whoa anyway I will put on the screen if there's actually a difference in terms of the amount of product you get but this is Mac taupe it's a matte and this is the new bullet this is the maximal and this is in warm teddy so as you can see the bullet is bigger that is so pretty that is so pretty and I've seen girls wear it with like cork and chestnut so we're gonna see how that works out and then I also decided to pick up because I don't yeah I don't have any for some reason you know why because Mac Viva Glam number five was my favorite Viva Glam lipstick of all time they don't sell it anymore and I decided to get Viva Glam equality and there that is they're right next to each other sorry there they are side by side we have warm teddy and equality when I went to pick up and swatch these lipsticks I was hoping to get like good like you know if it's a more moisturizing matte I was looking forward to getting some like really nice nudie browns to wear and the girl who works there and I've seen her many times <laughs> she's like yeah I don't know why they've gotten rid of like you're just your good like nudie brown I don't want a pinky brown I want a brown brown <laughs> and that's going to be another video because I'm going to swatch these I'm going to try them on I'm going to share with you guys my MAC lipstick collection it's definitely edited down quite a bit because I've had to throw some away because they <laughs> were old and moldy and this is kind of like what I'm left with and you'll see how many of these just aren't true browns so but they're also my favorite formula um and I'm also going to go over my mac lip glosses as well that collection definitely look uh out for some more videos because like I said I will be trying and testing all of these things. I've already started testing some. I've already started um, working on videos for these. So if you are seeing this, that means like in two, three days, you should see another video coming out. <laughs> um, so we're going to be a bit more consistent because I have more makeup to show you guys. And I hope everyone is doing well. I really do. I miss you guys and i hope you are having a wonderful day evening whatever time it is that you're watching this and i will see you guys soon 
by I was in four yeah I was in four different secret Santas so I got this amazing what is it heated blanket it is so nice and I will link what I can down below of course it does come with a remote that has five settings and I will be honest I don't think I've ever gone above like a two in the last couple of days I think I may have even kept it at a one so the first gift I got was a wax melt warmer so let's open this up and this is it right here so I'm assuming the light bulb inside gets nice and hot and then you put your wax melt on top this is perfect I'm so happy so then my second girl's girlfriend <laughs> Zaza got me an uh, aroma I got a, an aroma diffuser it's so funny because we got another one from someone else and it's bigger so it's funny because now I can leave that one downstairs in the living room and this one can stay upstairs in the bedroom again I'm just trying to stay away from candles as much as possible and these are the essential oils and then the fourth <laughs> secret Santa that I was in is actually our family secret Santa we don't have a lot of kids like little kids anymore in our families and we decided a couple years ago to do white elephant this is our first year doing secret santa honestly like i don't get my sister anything my brother-in-law my sister like it just doesn't make sense these are grown people who can very much buy their own things that are probably out of our price range if we were to buy every single adult in our family a gift so all the adults participate in white elephant this year with secret santa my sister actually got me and i i put on my family elfster wish list this heated blanket and i got it again and you would think that i would be upset by that but no i will not be returning it because i will keep one up here and i will be keeping one in my living room so it's actually perfect she also got me a facial steamer my niece has one and she absolutely loves it when she saw me open it she's like oh you're gonna have a time with that i don't know if i'm gonna use the tools that come with it the extraction tools only because that like scares me a little bit but at minimum i just feel like this will be a really nice relaxing experience and i'm really gonna try per my therapist to incorporate more self-care into my life so this is perfect the rest of my gifts came from my husband and the kids so let's get into that if you haven't watched my vlog you'll see that i did pick up the pat mcgrath of uh, mothership 2 and sublime sublime if you want to take a look and so if you watch that vlog you'll know that i got it basically half off <laughs> and so i had them give that to me so we'll go with what was in my stocking i thought i had to stuff my own stocking but my husband did really well this year i was a little surprised by <laughs> but um chocolates the joe malone ginger biscuit perfume i am so happy to use this I don't care that it smells like Christmas. I will be using it all year long. I had picked up some things from Sephora with my $100 gift perk thing. So I got the YSL mascara, solo shadow from Merit, color wow dream coat for curly hair, the YSL candy glaze double care balm in number 14. But the things that he actually got <laughs> that he actually got for me that I didn't know about. First, I got, I don't want to show you where it is because then you'll know where I live, but I got a gift card to a local bookstore here because he knows I've been purchasing a lot of books lately. He also got me this really beautiful purple robe. Really nice, like satin robe. I've wanted like an adult robe. And then he also got for me two mics for 
for me to use. This one is the Lavalier Go uh, wearable microphone and the Rode Wireless Go 2 uh, microphones. And we opened it up because <laughs> when I opened it, it was in my stocking <clears throat> and it sounded like this, like, but they have those beads inside. I thought maybe something was broken or smashed. And that is the microphone right there he's very supportive of this YouTube thing so I'm very grateful so I know that my stepdaughter wanted to get this for me so she was like begging her dad to like pick it up and make it part of my Christmas gift but it's the makeup by Ariel brushes this one is the face brushes I actually have the entire collection my husband has been rushing me to make this video because he wanted me to unbox this he got me the airpod max i have been wanting this first since they came out and i got a little emotional because um yeah uh this is definitely a, a pricey gift so let's go ahead and um open this up <laughs> oh my gosh so here's what it looks like inside oh my gosh it has that new car smell that is insane it has that new car smell okay phones let's take that off and if you have these like is there any like accessories that i'm supposed to get with it and that feels really nice there we are that's loud that's loud whoa i'm happy okay i was so anti apple everything i definitely was like a google person i actually had the google pixel before getting the uh iphone 12 pro max now i have the 15 pro max and the only reason why i even switched over was because google stopped making a phone um that was a comparable size to the pro max and i love having like a big phone you know that's just my preference some people like small phones that they can put in their pocket especially like women want to be able to put them in their clutches no i want pretty much an ipad in my hand i don't care so I am now Apple everything. <laughs> so until next time, I will catch you in another video. Thanks. Bye.